Alzheimer's Association has released new facts and figures, a report for the number of caregivers and the number of those who suffer from Alzheimer's. Here with us today is Keith Gibson with the Alzheimer's Association, Florida Chapters, and Denise Killick, who is a caregiver for her father. Thank you both for being with us. Um, let's start with you, Keith. Talk a little bit about some of these new statistics out when it comes to the number of caregivers here in Florida. Yes, absolutely. Um, so today, the Alzheimer's Association released the 2023 facts and figures, which shows that there is an in increase in the number of caregivers that is um, growing in Florida. Right now, we have a total of 827,000 caregivers um, that, in, that identifies as a 21% 21,000 increase over 2021. 22. Uh, and then also, too, there is, you know, showing a need for caregivers to receive the necessary support that they have to have. And I think that hopefully people are recognizing that there is more support for caregivers out there. Denise, Absolutely. you are a caregiver for your father. Kind yes. of tell us your story, his story, and what it's like for you each and every day. Sure. Uh, honestly, it's been a roller coaster of a ride. Lots mm -hmm. of ups and downs. Unfortunately, there's no manual, instruction sure. manual for dementia. So uh, you just really learn along the way. I've had some challenges. I've had to get legal help, um, getting legal guardianship over my father. That was challenging. It took a long time. But at the end, it's very rewarding. So even though it's challenging, it is rewarding because I get to spend every moment with my dad as much as I can. And just to learn as a caregiver to live in the present moment. That is the most important thing and to enjoy every second with, and with your you, loved one. Have you found a lot of resources that will help guide you and people who have gone through the same thing? Because yes. a caregiver needs emotional support too. Absolutely. So thankfully I found a great memory care facility to help him. Mm -hmm. I've reached out to local resources, um, absolutely with the support groups, whether that's local, whether that's virtual, I found both. Uh, just having really great friends and just having people be there for you. And you both could probably answer this question, but I'll start with you, Keith. If someone today finds out that a family member is given the diagnosis of Alzheimer's and they don't know where to go, they know that they're going to be a big, big part of how they move forward as a caregiver, what's the first step? What would you recommend they do to get the support they need as a caregiver to get started? The very first step is to call our 1-800 number, 272-3900. That's where they're going to be able to speak to a master level clinician that's going to be able to give them the necessary resources and the guidance that that they will need in this journey that they're just embarking upon because it's so important that the caregivers have that support that as I call it their care team that's going to help them throughout and the Alzheimer's Association could be a very integral part of that because again we offer a variety of resources from local support groups uh, education programming and things of those nature. So often your your focus is on the patient. What kind of medical care can the patients get? But at the end of the day, the caregiver needs the help too. Did you do that? Did you know to immediately reach out? I did. Uh, at some point, I was just so overwhelmed. I didn't know what to do. I mm -hmm. said, listen, let me call this hotline. Let me call them. Let me speak to someone. And honestly, it was a godsend Aww. because I didn't know what to do. I didn't have much support, didn't have much family to help me. So very grateful for it. That's wonderful. Well, thank yeah. you for sharing your story and sharing the resources because there are a lot of people watching right now are saying, I'm in that position. And a lot of people who um, feel like they, they're they too young to maybe be caregiving and they found That's themselves yes. in that in that role. Yes. And um, it's a new, a new journey. So thank you for sharing your experience. Yes. Thanks for sharing the resources. I know we put a lot of information on the full screen there, but we've got it on our website too. I was able to link um, the website to ours, WPBF.com, and you can get all the information you need by heading to our website. Thank you so much for all you do for our community. Thank You're you welcome. so much thank for having us. us.